I know this breaks my year 2000 cutoff rule for review of movies, but you know what? We're going to make an exception this time. Okay, everybody, today we're going all the way back to 2002. Can you believe that's 19 years ago already? Whatever. We're going to check out a little fun flip from the other side of the pod, or your hometown if you're over there watching this. We are talking about Dog Soldiers. This movie's cool, it's fun, it's a good little time, but before we get into that, whatever. Once and again, and as always, to the trailer. All right, this little motion picture was directed by Neil Marshall. Yeah, not that much of my jump out at you, but there's a few names in there. I mean, he did Doomsday, if anybody remembers that little flick. He did Centurion. And The Descent, which, come on, that was kind of a hit a couple years ago. And The Reckoning. Then he did that Hellboy 2019. And on TV, you know, Hannibal, Lost in Space, Westworld. So he's directed some stuff. And hey, not bad. And let's get one more thing in there. For using Adam and the Ants, Dog Eat Dog, and Doomsday. Thumbs up, sir. Thumbs up. Playing Wells! Sean Pertwee. I think I talked about him before. I know I talked about him before. When we went back and did Event Horizon. So let's get go. Well, there was one of the movies I was going to name that he was in. You get it. Okay, he was in Event Horizon. He was in Soldier. And Seven Days to Live. And Equilibrium. And Wilderness. And Botched. And Devil's Playground. And Alien Uprising. And Wild Bill. And tons and tons and tons and tons of TV work. Good actor. I like him when I see him pop up and shit. Just the way it is. Playing Cooper? Kevin McKidd? Let's roll. We're talking about he has been in little things like Train Spotting. If God, if you don't remember that, what's wrong with you people? And Behind the Lines. And Nicholas Nickleby. And The Rocket Post. And The Last Legion. And on TV, you know, Grey's Anatomy. Journeyman. Rome. Anna Karina. North Square. So out and about, pops up in a lot of shit, he's in this, that's all we care about, let's keep moving. Playing Ryan, that rotten bastard, Liam Cunningham, the character, not Liam Cunningham, whatever, whatever, he's been in some stuff, let's go. We're talking about he has been in little gems like Clash of the Titans, and Hunger, and The Escapist, and a lot of TV, The Clinic, Murphy's Law, uh, Roughnecks, and Outcasts, and Straight Back, in the hot zone, and probably what's going to hit most of you, really, Game of Thrones. Let's face reality, it was a huge hit. He was in it just the way it was. Playing Megan, Emma Cleesby. Let's take a look. Not a huge career, let's be honest, but a few things. All right, she was in stuff like Doomsday, which you're going to see pop up a lot. And she was on TV, you know, Coronation Street, 55 degrees north, and Doctors and Holby City, and The Project. So, it is what it is. She doesn't have a really big career. There's not that much to talk about. But, she was in this. Cute as a button. Who cares? Playing Spoon! Darren Morfitt. Nah. Let's go. We're talking about he's been in little gems like Doomsday, which keeps popping up in this. Yes, I know. But really, TV stuff. You know, 55 Degrees North, The Passion, Father and Son, Top Boy, uh, uh, The Driver, Dream Team, Rafters. So, been around, 
Ben some things. And the rest of the cast, I'm not going to go through everybody. There's a few more names, but they were in some stuff like Doomsday, you know, you know, whatever. But that popped up a whole lot. A lot of actors that were in that were in this, just the way it goes. All right, everybody, I'm going to try to do this in 90 seconds or less. I can keep it short, keep it fast, keep it entertaining, keep it moving so we can get to where we would all much rather be. The summation. Here we go. The movie starts out with a young couple camping in the wilderness. And before you know it, they are attacked by something big and hairy. Well, at least you get that impression. And they are killed. You jump forward a little bit. You got this guy. He's out on a training mission with a bunch of special ops. But because he doesn't pass the final initiation, which is to shoot a defenseless dog in the head... He fails the course, and he is sent back to regular duty. A few weeks later, he's out on regular duty with a new squadron, and they're going around doing war games and simulations, firing blanks, whatever, as they're traipsing around the Scottish woodlands. Anyway, as they're going about their business, waiting to run into a special ops team that they're supposed to have this fake encounter with, oh, things go a little bit awry. You see, apparently, they were being set up as bait by the special ops team, which just happens to have the guy in it that failed the one guy for not shooting the dog, and they meet again, whatever, we'll get to that later. But, they're set up as bait by that special ops team to go out there and be used to draw in a werewolf so that they can capture it, kill it, or whatever the hell they're going to do. But it doesn't work out that way. No, it does not. No, it does not. What happens is, a bunch of werewolves show up, and they destroy the special ops team, which fire rockets looking for help. Well, the lone survivor does. Who cares? Anyway, they go over, they offer him aid, and before they know it, they are being chased down like crazy by werewolves. Where they run into this one girl who just happens to be driving by in the middle of friggin' nowhere, and they all run off to a little cabin where they hold up and fight off big, bad werewolves, which are attacking left and right. That's the idea, folks. Bunch of army guys trapped in a goddamn cabin in the middle of nowhere fighting off the big four-legged or in this case running around on two legs baddies that are trying to get inside and kill them mm, there's little twists and turns here and there a little bit of everywhere but that doesn't really make a difference you got the idea that's where we're rolling from all right everybody does dog soldiers work yeah, dog soldiers works simply because it's entertaining, it's fun, and in those parameters, this motion picture delivers. We're going to do the big three to get them out of the way. You know what they are, so here they come. The directing, the directing's fairly good. It's solid. It's not amazing, but it's good. There's some problems in the editing we'll touch on a little bit, but the directing, solid, straightforward, tells the story good enough. The writing. The writing's cool. There's some moments of humor. There's some moments of drama. But the writing, it stays on point. There's a few things that might throw some people later on. I'll get into that in a moment. But the writing, good enough. And the acting. Ah, this is one of those motion pictures where the acting is so fun for the kind of motion picture it's in. You know, Sean Pertwee is just being dramatic and slamming at home and doing great. Liam Cunningham, He's perfect as a prick. And the rest of the cast, whether they're playing heavies or whether they're playing lighthearted, they deliver it and they do a good job. So, hey man, you can't knock the acting in this. It does what it's supposed to do. Now let's get back on point about what makes this motion picture work. What makes it work is its pure simplicity. This is just a werewolf movie. Yeah, 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 you have a couple of little teeny plot twists and all this other kind of stuff with these special forces guys and the army guys and who's good and who's bad and who is this girl. Yes, but at its heart, it is just a simple little movie. And it's shot really in a simple little way that makes it even more endearing. There's not that much here, folks. There's not. There's a bunch of guys in the woods in a cabin. That's it. And maybe like three guys in a wolf outfits. And they decided to make a motion picture out of it. That is all. I mean, literally, the only thing they probably put real expense into is a little bit of the costumes and having a helicopter in one scene. That's, that's really about it. It's a simple movie done in a simple way that really would have been perfect if it was made back in the 70s. But it happened to be made in 2002. And hey, they were holding the tradition down. And that's cool.
one of the nice touches that they did in this motion picture was there was just enough banter amongst the group, just enough communication amongst the guys in the beginning of the motion picture when they're out on their exercise to give you a sense of camaraderie, to give you a sense of the, the characters, to give you a little bit of the feeling of who they are and how they interact and all that kind of stuff. Is it all unique? Is it all never been done before? Is it all going to jump out at you like I've never seen this before? No, but they gave the characters and the crew that kind of time to build up a little bit of a relationship between those guys and in turn you with the characters so you get more invested and you enjoy it more. Also, the practical effects in this are just fun. Again, this wasn't a movie that cost a lot of money. It was only like a few million dollar production, if that. So, everything in this is done really simply. There's times you can tell when they're in the cabin and then they're showing you a miniature of the cabin from the outside with a little fake car when they blow it up especially. You get the idea. You know it's nothing that they had tons and tons and tons and tons of money to work with, but they make it work and it's cool for that. The werewolf costumes and outfits, yeah, there's times you see them and you're like, okay, I can see this guy's wearing a rubber suit with a thing on top of it and all that kind of stuff, but it still looks cool and you appreciate the craftsmanship and the work and the guys are obviously were working around, walking around in like some kind of stilts or some shit like that. You appreciate what they did. You appreciate the effort they made. And you appreciate the fact that they're bringing you this cool little movie that's just this fun little adventure with some little dark humor. And showing it to you in a way that's just meant to make you have a good time. Are there problems with the motion picture? There's a couple. One, I don't know what they were doing in the editing room during the first 10, 12 minutes of this movie, but when the guys get dropped in, in the beginning, and they're just going on the beginning of their, you know, war games mission, for the love of God, there are so many jump cuts. I mean, one character might have three different angles on him when he's delivering one sentence. Nothing holds for more than maybe one second or a second and a half. It's like watching a really bad... 80s music video on MTV. You're just like, Jesus, God, why do they keep changing angles? It's nuts. It's, it's, for about 10 minutes, it's the most distracting thing you'll ever see in your life. Thank God, once they start to find the special ops teams that got attacked, that shit slows down to a normal pace that's a little bit more reasonable, and you're not getting smashed in the face every quarter of a second with a different jump cut to a different character and a whole bunch of shaky cam and all that kind of crazy shit. It was annoying. It, it, just, it didn't need to be there. It didn't wreck the movie, but it wasn't something that made you say, oh, I love seeing that shit. Also, if you are watching this from the perspective of somebody from the States, okay, there's a lot of slang like, this is a British production. It's supposed to take place in the Scottish Hills. There's a lot of slang in there that to some people, if you're not really into watching a lot of movies from overseas, it might throw you. You know what I mean? When you're hearing a lot of Bullocks and oh, I just want to go home and watch the footy and all this other. Oh, you're taking the piss, all that kind of stuff. If you're not used to that kind of jargon, sometimes people will be like, "What the fuck are they saying?" But if you've seen a lot of foreign movies, you get it. You know what the slang is. You know what it really means. Or you kind of decipher it as it goes. So if you're stateside watching this thing, it might in the beginning be like, "What are these guys talking about?" If you're not used to it. It is what it is. Just roll with it. You get the banter. Doesn't really change that much. But it might be something that. First, you're just like, whoa. But all that, when everything is done and said, you got a cast that delivers. Whether they're delivering drama or action, or they're delivering humor. And there is humor in this motion picture. I've seen some people make it like a comedy horror. It wasn't a comedy horror. Yes, the one guy decided he's going to fist fight the goddamn werewolf. You're like, okay, this is fucking ridiculous. I, they had to put it in there to be a little bit funny. And there's some moments in there where it's it's funny, yes. But I wouldn't brand it as a comedy horror. This is not The Evil Dead 2. This is not Return of the Living Dead. It's not that far into comedy. It's basically a werewolf movie that might have some dark humor in it, a la American Werewolf in London kind, but there's some dark humor in it. It's in there, but this is not a comedy like some people try to sell it. So get out there. Watch Dog Soldiers. Give it a try if you haven't seen it already. It's out there floating around on YouTube. You can watch it. I'll try to put a link in the comments below. You should check this motion picture out. I usually never review anything after the year 2000. 
But this motion picture harkens back to the days of the 70s so much that I said, ah, I'm going to break that rule just this one time, just a little, and squeeze it out there and hope everybody pays some attention to it. All right, everybody, once and again, and as always, be good, take care, stay out of trouble, be kind to a stranger, always be there for a friend, but above all else, never, under any circumstances, no matter what, take any bullshit from anybody. See you soon.